Hello beautiful people and welcome back to our channel. My name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions in the video request, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment and also each message. And if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to get approved on Google Merchant Center. And this video was actually the most requested on my channel. A lot of people lately having issues with their stores not approved for Google Shopping. So that's a really known issue and also uh, the downside to it is Google is notorious for not letting you the reason or not specifically saying the reason why your store has been suspended so that can really put big pressure on uh, people because uh, your store has been suspended and you don't know what the reason for you think your store is perfect but they know it's not and they won't tell you so no worries, I'm here to tell you now. So in this video, I will show you 9 reasons why your Shopify store might not be approved. And yes, actually, it's a 9, not 10, because I can make it 25. However, there is some reasons might not be worth telling people, because I'm trying to show you things that you might not know. So that's why I'm making them 9, because I think those 9 reasons are really good that you should know and I think a lot of people don't know them that's why they get into issues when coming to Google Shopping so I will explain each thing from those nine reasons why your Shopify make is suspended and I will explain them in details so you don't miss anything and also if, even if you do miss anything as I said just drop me a comment below I will reply to you so first question I get a lot is is dropshipping allowed on Google Shopping yes it is allowed dropshipping has been for years and I mean years and years it just now becomes uh, popular because the availability or the digital world or the internet world that we live in dropshipping has become easier back then you need to mail some supplier in China or other country so you can check out the product and send you the product from there right now thanks to the digital world it becomes really easy because everything just by a click online and you can do it that's why dropshipping is more popular now but it does exist for years as I said so yes dropshipping is completely allowed on Google Shopping there is one thing you need to understand once you understand that thing correctly you won't have any problem with Google Shopping. However, you need to understand the philosophy what I'm about to say. So the thing is, Google wants people to buy from Google Shopping. If you can understand this correctly, you won't have any problem. Because once you can understand this, you can fix what's wrong with your Shopify store. Whatever it's the title, whatever it's the product name or the pricing or any everything needs to be for the customers and need to look trustworthy and everything. So people when they come up on your store, they will buy it and they will trust your store most importantly. So the most common reasons why dropshippers get suspended on Google Shopping is due to poor uh, business practices and that can be a bad website no trust factors and not following policies and there's nine reasons why your Shopify still gets suspended I will explain everything that I just said so the first reason is as I said designing your Shopify store the first thing you should keep in mind when it comes to Google Shopping they hate copying so when you design your Shopify store do not copy other stores or brands with either the name or the design or the colors or whatever the case is make sure you the, your store looks unique and also it has its own logo and so far uh, make it look like it's a brand not a general store that have everything you can find online so so when you design your store make sure it does not look like any brand or something like that and the second reason why people get suspended on Google Shopping is naming of the product so when it comes to naming products you need to specify what the product is not what the product does that's the, the the misleading or misrepresentation that they would say your Shopify store is doing so for example uh, one of my subscriber he did get suspended and I told him if he can send me the website or the Shopify store and tell him what is the problem with his Shopify store so he gets suspended and after seeing his Shopify store actually her Shopify store so after seeing her Shopify store so I did find out that the title for the product was actually misleading it was the uh, earrings so in her title she named the product as elevate your style with the perfect earrings if you look at it from a different angle you can say it's actually misrepresentation because earrings can't elevate your level <laughs> i know it's a cool word you can use it in uh, advertisements you can use it 
in your ad set but you can't actually name the product for it in any other platform that's fine but when it comes to google shopping they count it as misrepresentation and i think it's a fair point from their end because when a customer sees that product he will not think of it as i will elevate my level with these earrings no just name the product earrings and specify what they are if you are a silver or gold or whatever so as i said the first thing is naming your product and the second reason you might get suspended from google is checkout page so the checkout page need to have a lot of details the shipping costs shipping info and also where a customer he can put his coupon what is a coupon a coupon is the code where you can paste in into the checkout page and it will uh, reduce the price by 10 percent 20 percent you might think well i do not provide coupons even though if you do not provide them the checkout page has to show the bar or the 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 input where he, the customer can put in the coupon code so make sure to keep that in mind and also the shipping info where the product is being shipped from this is really important make sure to include that in the checkout page as well and the next reason why your shopify store may get suspended is selling products that's already available on google shopping under a branded name and that's really a common problem i saw a lot of people doing it and get suspended and asking why i was suspended so and it's really hard actually to find uh, products now on google shopping that's not branded so when you post a product on google shopping Google will look around for other uh, products that are similar and if we found the same product under a brand name on other store in Google Shopping he will consider yours as false and misrepresentation so you shouldn't add any product that's already available on their Google Shopping platform and no worries this can be confusing but I will show you an example right now for example if I type in here uh, phone holder for car for example right here so as you can see google shopping show me the advertisements first however if i scroll down you will see some products which is a phone holder for cars and as you can see the first one here is actually branded which is a brand called uh, Vans vansky here is as you can see the logo in there and the second one is branded as well uh, this is the brand name for it and also this one is branded here is the brand name for it and so on as you can see and you might find actually some products that are not branded but if you look off the, on the platform the website you will see either amazon or ebay or, or walmart and those are trusted stores and they have authority over you not just like a, a new uh, shopify store that's the, that just starting now so keep that in mind do not target products that's already available on the platform under another brand name and the next reason why your shopify store might get suspended is scarcity techniques and the scarcity techniques what i mean by that is when for example when you access a product page you can see a timer on top of the products saying hey buy this right now before the timer goes off uh, otherwise you will lose 30 percent or something like that uh, those called scarcity techniques they basically scare the customer so he thinks he would lose the 50 or 30 percent if he did not buy the product under the, that timer and those are not tolerated by google shopping at all so if you have that on your product page google will suspend you directly without even no emails or nothing like that so make sure you do not have any scarcity techniques on your shopify store and there is a lot of scarcity techniques i just showed you one which is the timer on the product page and the next reason why shopify store may get suspended is the legal pages on your shopify store which is privacy policy and terms and conditions and shipping info uh, refunds and all of that and i will explain them right now so the first one is privacy policy privacy policy is basically when you tell uh, customers or visitors how you handle or utilize their information when they buy from you and this is not something new shopify store can generate that in a click so nothing to worry about make sure to have that in your store the next one is terms and conditions so basically terms and conditions you can see it as a as a contract it's actually a contract you made with your visitors so you can protect yourself and tell the customers what's going on on the website and what you do basically on the website so think of it just like a contract and the refund policy is really obvious refund policy is you tell how you handle refunds and all of that 
and cookies policy is the same you can generate them easily and also the about page so make sure you have all these pages on your Shopify store otherwise you might get suspended and the next one is actually the most common problem when it comes to Google Shopping or Google Merchant Center which is having the same details on your Google Merchant Center as on Shopify store which is the address and phone number so make sure you have the same phone number on your Shopify store as well as Google Merchant Center and this is really important so make sure you have the same info on both of them and the next step why you might get suspended is the shipping times keep in mind that 25 days shipping is over there is actually a ways you can get lower shipping a week 10 days maximum however uh, above 20 days don't bother with it you might get suspended because Google Shopping as I said wants people to buy from their platform and 25 days shipping uh, that's not good that's not good for the business at all so make sure you have fast shipping and also I forgot one thing also the info for shipping and the prices make sure the cost for shipping is the same on the product page as the checkout page so they should have the same shipping price just like you see right now for example here it says seven bucks delivery uh, free 90 days to return this should be the price on the checkout page as well and also the shipping where exactly the product is coming from or where it will be shipped from that information also should be available on the checkout page and the last reason why you might get suspended actually you might not get, get suspended for this reason but it's not recommended to do it which is one product pages or one product Shopify stores you might try to do it if you want to do advertising on Google Shopping however it's not recommended because as I said in the beginning of the video Google Shopping wants people to buy for them and they want loyal customers so can, they can beat out other competition so having one product page or one product Shopify store is not really good for their uh, reputation they want people to find brands and like the brands and keep buying from them so I'm not saying you shouldn't use the uh, one product pages Shopify stores however it's not recommended so that's the nine reasons why you might get suspended from Google Merchant Center and as I said if you have any questions about this make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me otherwise I think my job it is done and thanks for watching catch you on the next one